Kevin. We're recording. Okay, then for the recording, we are reviewing the open issues. We are right now in uh, 188 in the um, repository, in the working group repository. And uh, for this one, there is a comment for a dead link. I'm going to label it as a good first issue, just in case somebody wants. And uh, if no, if nobody wants to take it, I will I will go for the first. Yeah, I think the issue on this one is just that it looks like, Kevin, you could correct me if I'm wrong, but when kind of converting these things over into the website, the relative linking seems to fail. Uh, so it actually does have a relative link in it, but the, the main issue is that that metric doesn't exist. Yeah, so I think this is... The, uh, there I actually, agree. there is no... No, oh. go ahead. Yeah, that, that issue, uh, I think we, during the, it's just not, a, it's not an issue that's been defined. So there's no actual, there's no actual uh, metric page for it. So I don't know if we want to have it point towards issues new, which is a metric that's been defined. Uh, yeah. But that's not the way it's written currently. Yeah, I can check later or, or well, just a second. Let's, let's check right now. Yeah, let's just take care of it right now. Okay, so for some reason I cannot open it. Um, so, and it is the same issue for uh, both 188 and 187, uh, just different okay. files. So maybe that's just a problem with some um, copy and paste. Let me check this. My network is a bit slow now, and I'm not loading the file. Okay. Okay, it is an issue closed, for instance, right? Yeah, it is issues new because issues new issues new is the one defining the issues. It should be issues new. Yeah, so the okay. I'm, I'm going to level, I'm going to write a comment on the on the issues. So that we don't forget. Can we just fix it now? Sorry, I can I can fix it. Okay, uh, great. I'm I'm writing the comment anyway. Want. Okay. That's just because issues new is defining issues, and at some point in the past, it was called issues. And we decided in some of the meetings to change to issues new because it, it, it more clearly reflected the fact that there were issues open during the, during the period. That's what I thought as well, but I wanted to make sure uh, that was the case before uh, yeah. I did any yet. Yeah, thank you very much. So I, I just wrote a comment in issues closed. And for issues active is the same thing. So I'm not writing the comment, but it's the same thing. Okay. So thank you very much for noticing. And so issues, what's the deal with 187? Issues active, is that the same? Is that the same? It's the same, it's the same issue, just in a different file. It's just a mis mismatch between the candidate metric and the available page. Yeah, the problem is that this was cut and paste uh, from, from a past version when the name of the of the metric was issues. So uh, all of them have the same link, and the link in all the cases should be to issues new. I'm going to write a comment here anyway. So Kevin, yes. What Im what impact does that have then on the web page? Uh, it'll. It's just right now. It's just a dead link. Uh, 
as soon as I fix it, it'll have a link that goes to the issues new page. Mm -hmm. uh, so the, the impact is, is minimal, I would okay. say. So issues closed, issues active. Because right now, okay, maybe I'm not tracking this real well. On 188. So I was I was uh, I was commenting on the writing in 188, 189, yeah. and 187. All of them is the same stuff. Okay. But there are there are unique pages for issues new, issues active, and issues closed. These yeah. are all. Yes. Okay. Yeah, for each for each of the of the metrics, there is um, a, a file describing the details of the metric. Yep. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. Then the next one is one hundred and eighty-six, and for that one, there is no comment. That's for uh, issues new. Then okay. we have uh, three issues for reviews. So I'm starting with 185, which is for reviews declined. And uh, just checking now, there is no comment. And uh, for reviews accept, I think there is also no comment. Oops, sorry. And then, okay, and then we have reviews, and there is, okay, also no comment. So I think for this one we are done. And then we can move to those on code changes, yep. which are 182 and 181. If I remember what there was no comment either. Yeah, no comment for code changes lines. And uh, for code changes. Yeah, for code changes, there is a comment. Yeah, but it's only related to the reference implementation, which is uh, something we are working on. And Boris is commenting he is a Google Sum of Code student, but it's just saying that. There is a new working implementation. That's it. Okay. And that's, 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 that's the reason for the broken link. Is that fixed also? I'm going to write how to fix, and because the, the idea is what Rory said. Okay. Yes, the link should go to the new implementation. Okay. 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 Then I think we are done with all the issues related to the candidate. Um, to, to the yeah. Metrics. And I'll just I'll make a comment. I think the evolution candidate metrics are, I, I've been taking a look at them really nice and detailed. So okay. Okay. thanks for the work on that to the evolution group. And I think, um, to your point yesterday in the community call, Jesus, you know, maybe this is something in later versions we can ask for the other working groups to kind of strive for mm -hmm. is this level of detail. So anyway, uh, just thanks for the work. Okay. Thanks a lot for, for the comments. Yep. Um, moving on with the issues, we still have 165, which is the general, the general ticket for all the, all the metrics. Yeah, that can close. Yeah, I was going to ask when, when can we close all these tickets that we have for the different metrics when we have the comments done? Should we'll we close them at the end of the month. At the end of the month, okay. Yeah. Then why, why not leaving this one open? Okay. 
I mean, uh, what's the what's the intention to have the list? Because if it is having the list, where they no, have this was that that issue was really just me trying to identify. This was kind of pre anything being posted prior to anything being posted by the evolution working group. So this was just me going through your repository. Okay. Trying to identify. So that's all that that was. Okay. So think, in, that, in that case, feel free to close it whenever you want. And I'm going to close it now. Okay. Perfect. Whatever you want. It's closed. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Then we have, um, 159, which is documenting how Remote Lab can display the metrics that have been released. I need to still go through it, but I think that that was already done for, if not all, most of the metrics. Okay. And uh, yeah, because I see there, are, you can see several uh, pull requests linked, yep. and all of them are merged. So I think all of the metrics now have the Remote Lab implementation with them. That's great. So I'm I'm closing this one, right? Yep. I'm gonna mark it as closed in the minutes. Okay. What number was that? One hundred and fifty-nine. Okay. Hey, um, do all I have a question for you. Do all of the um so as one hundred and fifty nine is closed, which I think is great. Mm -hmm. Um do does Grimoire Lab provide an API for the data that populates the panels in addition to putting in the information into the panels? Does that make sense? There is an API, but that's basically the Elasticsearch API. Because okay. what we do with the panels is letting Kivana do a part of the of the calculation of the metrics. Okay. Kibana is both um, visualizing the metrics and querying Elasticsearch. Uh, for, so, for instance, I see. So, Kibana is actually yeah, so, responsible for part of the calculation. Exactly. So, in a, in a very simple example, okay. like computing the number of uh, open issues, for instance, what yep. Kibana does is go to the database and get directly with a query the number of open issues and display that and th th that can be the number of open issues per month or, or something like that. So what I have the plan to do in the future is to include the specific query in the uh, known implementation section of the metrics. Okay. So right now what we have is, to, is how to get that metric into the dashboard, but I think it also could be useful to have the ex a specific query to Elasticsearch that basically provides the same result. Okay. Yeah, that could be automated and, uh, and so on. And I then, think so. Two. Yeah. And, and then th there is another level where you can do that, and that's at uh, the raw data level, which is what Percival does. And that's what we are trying to do with the Google Summer of Code Student. Okay. In, in, that, in that case, what, what Percival does is to retrieve all the data in the, in the API, and uh, basically we produce a JSON file with that, and then what we are doing is writing Python code on top of that, per, of that um, JSON file that produces the number. I mean, I see. so that you can read the code and say, well, this is just counting the, met the, the, the So then, I mean, so then would the goal here be to ultimately provide the metric data without the visualization so exactly. that people could ultimately consume that data in any way they want to ultimately. Exactly. exactly. And in fact, we have a, as a target for the Google Summer of Code student to also produce uh, simple scripts that can analyze the repository and produce the raw numbers. Okay, so I think that's a really good idea. Yeah. Okay. The, the, the is to do it uh, as much uh, as much from scratch as possible, so that we can really see all the process. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Okay. No okay. Good. So we are in um, one hundred and forty-nine, I think. Yeah. This is just some uh, errors that you found out, so it's a matter of going through them. It's already level, and I think that for the rest of the issues, we already went through them during the last meeting, and there there is no movement in, in all of them. Okay. It's basically related to discussion for the focus area that we are working with now, and uh, use cases. Yep. Okay. okay. So I think Good. that from my point of view, we are we are done with issues. Yep. 
And then we can go move on to pull requests. And uh, here we have like, again, several pull requests by um, the World Summit of Code project. We can skip them, but just for briefing you about them, we already have uh, a class hierarchy for the implementation, for this reference implementation, and now the student is implementing the different metrics. Okay, yep, so, I've been following these. Okay. So, uh, yeah. going to the others, to the other uh, pull request, the first one in my list is one, 198, which is release candidate link. I don't know what is this. Ah, the, uh, Kevin, you opened this just this now, is, right? This is based on today's conversation. Okay, great. And and yesterday's conversation as well. Okay. Okay. So then if, if this you adds the uh, the comment link to all of the GitHub pages. Okay. And then it also fixes the issues uh, like Okay. So I think uh, I'm I'm just going through it very quickly. I think we can just merge it. So in, in any case, the idea is to have a link to the issue for discussion in every uh, in every description, right? Yep. Okay. And, and that will obviously be removed when, when the candidate period is over, when the review period is over. Okay, good, good. So I'm, I'm merging it. Thanks for doing that, Kevin. Perhaps we should create now oh, to remove it. Much. Okay. Okay, then. so let's go back to the pull requests. Good, the next one is a very simple one. Uh, just changing the name in one of the files, the name of the, of the group. So somebody had um, figured out that we didn't have it. Which and, one is this, 195? Yeah. Okay. No, sorry, one, one, 197. Oh, okay. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, sorry. And uh, it all it, it now has a positive review, so okay, I can merge it. it. It's a very simple change in a way. Yep, and thanks Armstrong for finding that. Yeah. Okay, so the next one is uh, one hundred and ninety-five. Which is this is uh, Mino fixes to the description of change line that I spotted this morning, and in fact this was this was based also on the well, just by reading it there was some some issue there. So, if somebody can review the text, which is not, not much more than that, I'll take a look. This, this is a bit of a detail only. When we were implemented, I figured out that the description of what is a code change. Yeah. Uh, aligning the code change was not that okay. clear. Okay. Some clarity and a typo. Exactly. Okay, I'll merge it. Okay, thank you. And I think that's it because the other one is restructuring the description of the reference implementation, which is basically what we are doing now. Oh, wait, there's a conflicting file. Hold on. Sorry? Uh, 195 had a conflict. Oh, I can, I can solve the conflict then later. Yeah. Oh, yeah, well, probably, I, yeah. I, I, I see. It, it's, it's conflicting with the change Kevin did for including yep. them in the, because it's on the same file, I think. Okay, I can, I can. You fix, it. you fix that, and then just ping me, and then I'll merge it. Okay, perfect. I will do that. And I think that we are done with the pull requests. Yep. So, from my point of view, the other only thing is whether. Any of you think that we should be doing something specific during this, let's say, review period for the candidate metrics? No, I don't. I think actually this is kind of a period to be sort of quiet, mm -hmm. to be okay. honest with you. So um, I guess the one question that I have for you, Jesus, I don't think you were on this discussion. Um, how often do you think that we should be releasing metrics well, I don't know. I, I think that that's going to depend on how much we change or them or produce new ones. So at some point in the past, we were discussing about having at least one release per Chaoscon so that we all yep. something for each Chaoscon. I think what it, what it came down to is whether or not we do once a year with ChaosCon North America or 
twice a year with ChaosCon North America and mm -hmm. called our European conference, you know, something like FOSDEM or something like that. Yeah, so maybe we Thanks, can... Andrea. Sorry, I, I, I was just saying I think that... four times a year was mentioned as well. Sorry, can you repeat? I think four, four releases a year was mentioned as well. Okay. Like quarterly. So it just um, seems like too much to me. Um, uh, my, my feeling is that depends on the weather. There is <coughs> I mean, if yeah. after this release, I mean, three, three months after Chaos Come North America, we see there's a lot of movement. We have several new metrics, changes in other words. We can consider a new release. If not, I wouldn't. When is FOSDEM? FOSDEM is in February. Okay. So the, the timing is good because if we still decide to go on with FOSDEM and as a time frame for ChaosCon Europe, it's like a six months from uh, from August. Well, five, six yeah. months. So um, before moving to four, I would see how it works with uh, two. And before moving to two, I would see how it works with one. That's, that's, that's a fair point. Yeah. So, uh, what I mean is, uh, when we decided to go this way, it was like uh, in January or February. Yeah. And I think it, it took us like this six months to have the first release. If we have in the next six months the same level of activity, I would certainly uh, release for uh, um, Chaos Conjure. Yeah, yeah, and I think, I, okay. I mean, I also think that part of the last six months, we were spending time figuring out the workflow yeah. as well, yeah. which in took a lot of time. In many working groups especially, and I think that for all the projects. Yeah. So, uh, so it's very likely that during the next months we are going to have more movement. Yeah. The past six months. So probably around, I don't know, October, maybe earlier, we can, we can evaluate and decide. Okay. Because on the other hand, I see that the current release process is maybe too long because it's, uh, it's taking close to two months, from the moment the working groups uh, decide what to include to the moment everything is fixed and, and announced it. Yep. And uh, with that, having more than two releases a year is going to be a problem because that means that most of the year we're going to be in release time. Yeah, <laughs> that, that's, that's my thought. <laughs> that well. I don't, I don't want to always be there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So maybe we need to design a, a, a lighter a lighter process for the release, even if we are twice a year. I don't know. How about, how about this? I'll, um, I'll suggest we do the release, obviously, for ChaosCon North America, and then we'll meet as a group during one of the community calls after that, and yeah. just kind of get a sense of where we're at, for your point. Yeah. yeah, I agree, I agree. So that maybe we can schedule for, say, October to, to make a decision on this. Yep. Okay. No, that works for me. Thanks. One other thing we could do is like do one major release, then we have minor releases. Yep. That then, sounds sensible. Yeah. Yeah. Then so if we are making like let's say there are some pressing issues, we can make a minor release. Then at the end of the day, it depends on how they they are consumed, like the community. If they are desire for more, like for high productivity, we could not yep. adjust. If we meet in the uh, that's right. That, that that could be especially interesting in the case of uh, important modification to already released metrics. So that, for instance, in some group uh, finds out that then some of the definition was was faulty, or yep. they, they they clearly improve it. So we could do something like a version one dot one, just with the, some of the metric change. So not not new metrics, only changes to existing metrics. Yep, I think that's fair. Yeah, that could be something. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Thank you. I appreciate the feedback. Okay, thank you. Thank, th thanks to you for opening this with you. Okay, anything else that any of you want to discuss? I oh. just want to be clarified. Uh, sometimes I'm confused, like uh, what we discussed yesterday. If we just want to go and like give our feedback, okay, it's fine. Like for the release candidate that math uh, releases the sent yesterday. If we just want to go through and say like it's okay with me, mm -hmm. without, do we need to create a pull request for that? No, no. I think that you can just comment on the on the issue because for each of the of the metrics to be released, there is an issue, 
and you can just comment or write some yeah. thumbs up or something. Okay. Okay. Yeah, but, but I think I tried to see it to look through like the comment, but it was not highlighted. Um, yeah. So anyway, I'll go through it again. No, I see, I see what you mentioned because it's clear. If you disagree, it is clear that you should be producing a pull request. But if you agree, it's not that clear what to do. Okay. Hey, so um, Armstrong, I just put a, do you have the chat? Mm -hmm. Can you click on that link? This is an yeah. issue that we closed already, but this is, okay. this is an issue as an example. Okay. Kevin just put in a few comments like, hey, you have a dead link at line eight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think just adding a comment like that is helpful enough. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So in fact, I will say that depending on the time that people have, they can just, as Kevin did here, say, I found this problem and don't bother in fixing it. Somebody can fix it later. So it is good enough if you can just say, I found this problem. If you have time, you can produce the pull request. And exactly. if you agree, if you agree and everything is fine, if you want, you can just say, I agree. So that's fine. Okay. Whatever. You see, Matt, is it because the issue is closed that the comment button, the green button is not highlighted because on my end, I see it not highlighted. And yesterday is the same thing I noticed. No, the, uh, the, 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 the button gets highlighted if you start to write in the box. Oh, okay, 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 yeah, you are right. Because you can, you can comment in a closed issue. The only problem is that that's not going to appear in the list of uh, open issues because it's not open. It, yeah, yeah, it's closed, yeah. Yeah, but you can comment and the people involved in the, in the issue, they are going to receive an email that you commented. So people okay. are going to comment anyway. Okay, that works, thank you. You're okay. welcome. Thank you. Okay. 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 okay, great. Anything else from any of you? Uh, nope, I'm going to go get ready for the 4th of July. <laughs> I hope that you have a very good celebration. <laughs> All right, thanks everybody. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Nice celebration. See you later. Bye. Bye.